Hey crafty friends, it's Tasha. Thank you so much for joining uh, my channel today. Today is a kind of a different and fun video. I wanted to share with you a little bit about what I learned while I was making this Halloween shaker card. I created this Halloween shaker card using this Queen & Co foam fronts shaker kit that I was gifted by uh, Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Thank you so much, Sarah. As soon as I saw this, I wanted to play with it immediately. So I drew some inspiration from the stars. I knew right away I wanted to make a Halloween card and I used my um, Distress Oxides in Seedless Preserve, um, Spiced Marmalade and Wild Honey. And then I inked the edges with Black Soot. I also used this really fun Halloween stamp set from Lawn Fawn called Spooktacular. And I also have the dies, so that was very helpful because I dislike fussy cutting. <laughs> so this is the card that I made and I had so much fun. I really, really, really enjoyed it. And I stamped a little sentiment in the inside from the stamp sets that we all got from Tuesday morning. And uh, yeah. So I just wanted to share some things that I learned along the way, some things that I liked, and some things that I didn't like about this Queen & Co shaker card or shaker set. So first things first, it pretty much comes with most of the pieces that you will need in order to, oh, sorry about the glare, guys. It comes with most of the pieces that you will need in order to create a shaker card. So it comes with the actual foam shape and when you first get it you have to punch the foam shapes out so as you can see here this is raised this is the foam piece and i had to punch out these foam stars out of each one of these slots to create the shaker so once you punch the foam pieces out then you fill your card and then it also comes with a uh, acetate, a very thin acetate, by the way, like, like super thin acetate. Um, I did not like the thinness of this acetate. Yes, it will do the job, but it's not the quality that I would like. So I used my own acetate for this project. Um, so, I mean, but you know, the acetate that it comes with, it, it works perfectly fine. I'm just... I'm just a snob, I guess, um, but it does work. So uh, you can go ahead and put the acetate over the window and there's your shaker. The other thing that they did provide is they provided the front. So this is, um, they, they provided the front panel to go over the shaker once you punched out the pieces and filled your card. And then they also provided the um, the card itself. Now I cut my card in half because I needed to practice on it. The quality of the card panel and the base that they provide you is not my preference. The type of card that this is, it's not cardstock, guys. It's it's like that glossy backing stuff that is almost like the backing of a package, um, and it's shiny and it does not blend. So if you want to do blending or do any kind of decoration to the front of your card, you're gonna have to find a way to create your own card panel. Now, you could do that or you could decorate this with bling, with stickers, whatever you wanted. But for me, I, was, I had my heart set on, on uh, ink blending and so here's the other side to the base I cut in half and I needed to practice my blending. This does not blend at all. And it's the type of cardstock it is. It's this funky, cheap, glossy cardstock crap. Sorry, crap. So, so I had to solve that problem. And what I did was I took this and I used it as a template. And I simply took the cardstock that I wanted to use for my ink blending. I put it over top of my um, my cardstock and I used my X-Acto knife and I simply traced the edges and created my own card panel. Then once I had my duplicate card panel in a properly 
um, you know, a proper cardstock that I could ink blend on, then I did my ink blending. So out of everything of this kit, I think I didn't like the type of cardstock they gave me for my card panel because that was just really weird. And the acetate was flimsy. But the foam piece itself was really, really awesome. It's good quality. The other thing that I really like about this kit is that look at all the extra pieces I have. I've got these extra foam pieces that I punched out of the panel. So I punched these out. These are actually double-sided foam sticker, um, like stickies. So if I wanted, and what I'm probably going to do, is I'm going to take all of these little foam stars, because they have double-sided adhesive on them, and I'm going to glitter them and use them as embellishments on another project. Also, they had us, um, they had me punch out the stars out of my card front panel as well. So I also have these stars to work with. So I can glitter these up. I can um, emboss them. I can do whatever I want with these and use these for another project. So I do have leftovers, which is kind of awesome. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's what I learned when playing with this card kit. So if you guys see these at the Queen & Co booth, just keep those kind of things in mind when buying these uh, shaker kits. You may have to adjust your style based on what they provide you in the kit. But overall, depending on how much you pay for it, I think this is a really great uh, starter kit for somebody who's interested in shakers. Um, just for giggles, real quick, I wanted to share with you how well the, or how well this does not blend on this cardstock that they provide, just so that you guys would know. I know that you guys are gonna like take my word for it, but I just want you to, to see it. So I'm gonna take some Distress Ink here, and I wanna show you, this is what happens. Okay, now I'm gonna take Sealess Preserve. I'm going to do that. And if you can see, it goes right on top of it. And it just doesn't, it doesn't blend the way that I would like. It doesn't move. It, it just doesn't move. It just, once it goes on the paper, it just kind of stays. You know? Usually you can blend it out. But... You just can't with this particular cardstock. So, um, yeah, so I just, it's just not my cup of tea, but you could most definitely um, put bling on it, sequins. I don't know how well you could stamp on this because it's got that glossy finish. I'm pretty sure you would have to use like stays on ink but watch this. See how it kind of, the ink kind of like sits on top of it? This is not the cardstock that you want for any kind of ink blending. So, so yeah. And that is my two cents. So uh, I'm going to let you guys decide for yourself, but I really had a great time creating this card. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video, just kind of sharing with you my experience with this kit. Once again, I want to thank Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing for giving me this really awesome kit, and um, I just had so much fun creating this card. And uh, stay tuned because I will be making plenty of Halloween projects in the near future. Thanks again, guys, and happy crafting. Bye.